of uh, uh, GIS and a billing software. As you can see here, by using VBNet, we can create basically a menu system that replicates the functionalities of an entire city or town dealing with you know their customers, contractors, and all the many requests and work that they do. This application would allow employees to basically see all or part of the menu depending on their login and privileges. Uh, employees can go in here and create work orders by just uh, clicking on that command and as you can see here the program would go in and load a form that basically show you know an interface that allow them to view not only information from the GIS but also information from the billing software one could here just find information by either entering a house number street name account number or last name if we use the option house number street name then users can go in and either enter house number and find all addresses that match that number enter street name and find all addresses on that street or use a combination of both if we just go ahead and here and enter 16 and then let's say a street name uh, uh, select uh, Austrian court and click find records then the program would go into the database and find all addresses on Austrian court that uh, have number 16 and something else and then the employees can go ahead and select uh, uh, the addresses for that request if it was 16903 Austrian court and just go ahead and click it as you can see here what the program is going to do is first connect to the Keystone database which is the billing software and bringing all the information on that account and then using the GIS here what we have is just Arc Reader which is uh, free so no more buying licenses and so on you can view both the GIS and uh, uh, the billing uh, uh, information and the program would zoom in the vicinity where that parcel is located the users have the ability to zoom into the future to see more of the other features that are next to that parcel they can zoom out or also go ahead and uh, uh, flash you know to see exactly you know what parcel you know the account referred to as you can see here then they can start now entering that request you have a possibility of uh, uh, putting in the date of request by selecting a calendar here if the date is today's date then you just leave it to that if the date is to be changed if the request was let's say for uh, February 6th then you can go ahead and just select that if you have appointment time you can go and click it here and select it if not you can start entering the people that call for that uh, uh, request if you have a telephone number for the person who called you can go ahead and enter that telephone number and then move to the different field if the billing address was different from the service address here you can go ahead and change that if not that remain and as you can see now all the information that comes from uh, uh, the, the billing software that shows basically the meter location uh, touch ID radio ID meter number and so on are show the date it was uh, installed the make size and whatnot you can go here and select uh, the location of the meter if it's inside and so on uh, select that and then you can start entering the request itself if you needed to do a final read you can go and click that if there was repair involved with this request you can go and click the repair and then the program give you a field where you can type in the type of repair that needs to be done if this meter needed to be turned off then you can go ahead and click the turn off and as you see here when you click the turn off it will disable the turn on and if you made a mistake and wanted to go back to turn on you just click that back and then if you want it turn on you can click turn on and the same way here it will disable the turn off and as you click turn on then you have the choice of entering the car by selecting either yes or no at the same time here you also have the possibility to enter the reason why you're doing this uh, request or work order let's say if this was because the registered was uh, damaged then you can go ahead and click on that and select that the program would also show you the last consumption and the last uh, uh, reading uh, that was uh, for that uh, account you can also get the history of the entire you know reading and consumption for the same account by clicking here as you can see a form would come showing basically all the reading the consumption the date they were selected and then a graph that showed the distribution of uh, uh, that consumption you can print this form or go ahead and just uh, uh, collapse it the same way you can enter information here as commands to let uh, uh, basically uh, the crew know what uh, you know they need to do or information they need to get before they do the work order the program also shows all the comments that were entered previously for that account you see here the last one but you can go and view basically all the other commands here and see exactly you know who did what when they did it and so on and when you're done with that you can go ahead and collapse it the same way here the program enters the grid where that house is located or that property the person who's entering 
the information by using the login you can also select any picture that is basically uh, uh, connected to that specific account and then uh, you know view that uh, in a window that you can either print or you know just view and collapse as that's done then you know users can go ahead and either print this form and save it if they wish to or just go ahead and add the work order itself into the database by clicking add work order and here you can see the program would go and add that work order into the database just quickly here to show basically an integration using VBNet of your GIS and your billing software which allows you basically to share all your information with all your employees without having to buy any more licenses for your GIS or any more licenses for your billing software so if you need to see more about this kind of application please uh, call us 317-213-3997 or visit our site iseed4.com thank you